I'm be honest. This is a video all about my love for Way Hot. Okay, so first of all, the chemistry between Dominique and Catherine is off the charts. And the way that they look at each other, the way that Nicole and Waverly look at each other, I am gone every time. Could it have something to do with the fact that Catherine has the most contagious smile in the whole world? Probably. Like, I dare you to look at a picture or a video of her smiling and not smile yourself. Like, I dare you. So, what's awesome, and so many people have said this, and I'm just like echoing what everyone else says, but the fact that Nicole is a, an actual character is so important and so refreshing. Like, she could very well just be a love interest for Waverly. Like, just, you know, some random cop that comes in and out and does things and only ever um, interacts with Waverly. But she's not. She has that, <laughs> that, she has that awesome scene with Winona, which everyone's obsessed with. It's amazing, and that just adds another relationship to her character, another level to her character, and she's like, hey, she's not, you know, some stupid small town cop that's just like, shit's going on, I'm gonna stay out of it. She's like, yo, what's going on? You need to tell me. Not, you know, like, Emily said this in one of her interviews with, in her interview with After Ellen. She's like, you know, why can't there be the, a character that, the, a lesbian character that's confident and knows what she wants and isn't, you know, this tropey predatory lesbian? And that's so refreshing. Like, yeah, she goes in there and she tells Waverly what she wants and is like, you know, she's this confident girl. And who, who doesn't love, you know, those, that confidence in any sex, as long as there's a charming confidence. And then she just leaves it there. She leaves the ball in Waverly's court because she knows, like, it's obvious that Waverly's still figuring out who she is. And the growth that Waverly has, has shown through this whole season is amazing and so every time she sees Waverly yeah we we're reminded and she reminds Waverly like I like you and we get those looks those looks but she is like she lets her have her space and Catherine said in one of her interviews she's like in season in episode seven when Waverly dumps champ finally thank god she could have sw swooped in there you know and and taken advantage of that but she didn't she let waverly have her space and realize who she is and my favorite part when episode nine okay first of all let's take a moment thank everyone that was involved in that great episode great scene i was a little bit excited about it um and the best part about it is and when Waverly jumps on her she could have been like yes finally and had we could have had a two minute makeout scene which would have been great uh, but she doesn't she stops Waverly and is like makes sure that Waverly knows what she's doing make sure that this is what Waverly wants and when you get that amazing um interaction between them and it's just so refreshing to have that uh, character dynamic and this this awesome queer character that that Catherine has brought to life and that Emily Andrus has has created. And I'm like I'm so excited. But here's the thing: if they don't tell Nicole what's going on because of the stupid superhero doesn't tell their loved ones to protect them bullshit I'm gonna be pissed okay that makes no sense to me not telling your loved one that you're a superhero and they'll probably get kidnapped every day doesn't make sense okay you're not protecting them you're putting them in more danger because if they know what's going on, if they know who the bad guys are, they can, you know, learn to defend themselves and understand, oh, this person is coming after me, I should probably run. And now that Nicole and Waverly are involved, all the demons are gonna know how to get to Waverly, which is gonna get to Winona, and they need to tell Nicole. They just do. 
it'll make everything better. <laughs>